What's up, what's up? This is Nebraska once again, playing some Man of Madon. Uh, jump back in, baby boy's asleep, so. Let's just jump, jump right back in where we left off. Uh, I think we're on Fliss and Conrad on the boat. I had to check in so he, he's uh, streaming right now. So I always check in on his stuff when he's on. He's playing some Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, I need to get that game. It looks pretty sick. Everybody talks about it and says it's so amazing. So, all right. So, howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Well, sure. Why not? We're being relaxed. We're gonna. We're gonna be cool about it. He's a douche, but pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Now we're gonna go you know, it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. All right. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Alright, so let's see. She's deceitful, guarded. How is she deceitful? Lacks motivated. Alright, so with her and Conrad up. Do not appreciate the flirting, of course. Now the screen's off, really. Weather looks clear. So, mm. I have to keep an eye right. on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. All right, so we got another boat. We're gonna uh, grab this. See what this is. Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. Looking for a weather report in my area? Over. Got a severe front heading into your vicinity from north. All right. Thunder, lightning, 21 knot winds. Keep an eye on that. We'll check you in the AM rounds. Over. Appreciate the heads up. But we got this under control. Over. Oh, I should have said thank you. Guard is people eager and relaxed. Okay. We're going to go downstairs and check on, uh... Let me check on Brad. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. <laughs> Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Yep. Huh. Like most women do. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Kind of a. All right, so we're gonna go check what Brad's is. Okay. Let's go check their stuff out. We're gonna be that that captain. Let's see if he gets to say anything different. All 
I don't think it's going to give us anything different here. Let's see. There's nothing else it looks like. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that the first time. What? Hold on. I didn't get a look at that. I don't know why. Maybe I have to hold it down longer? Okay, so account number is letters pointing over that you are in default or obligated to make regular payments on your personal loan. The loan holds a remainder of 24000 with a sum of three. Jesus! Okay, so she's getting, she's got foreclosure notifications. She can't afford this boat. And now I understand why she's deceitful. Is this different at all? You go with different characters? Let's see. No, I it hate this picture. Well, it's your boat. You could take it down. Like, really? You could literally take it down. Alright. Oh, now she can put. Okay, gotcha. Interesting. You think she would have done that before? Nice. Okay, so can't talk to them. Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Go to the, we'll go to that next. Oh, son of a. Alright. What's that Here about? Here we go. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. Okay. Here's your glass eager. Yeah, but Conrad's a douchebag, so we'll see what happens. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? See? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Yep. Pissed him off. He didn't shut his mouth. So, let's see what happens now, right? So now our plane is Julia. The turret. We can get in through there. Yeah, like you didn't see that little sharp thing on the side. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. 
Uh, ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got something over here. Almost missed it. Hmm. Premonition. As far as I know, those change when um, your yeah, there's something in there. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe is pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? It, it depends on the... Board. Depends on the depth, you... Like, it would be a major thing. No, not Brad. Uh, Alex. Yeah, I ignored him. We're, we're getting this. Octopus or squid? I'm not sure which one that is. I wouldn't do that. Enough, that would never happen. You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that. Chill out, I'm fine, see? No problemo. Two, three, one clear, two and three, all clear. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a US base. Alright. Alright. They were on their way to help out a ship. Pause it real quick. Give me a message. Don't have a message. Alright. So we're gonna go. So where am I going now? Oh, I'm stuck. Alright, there we go. We'll go this way, I guess. When he sees this. You shouldn't take it, you should just take pictures. Why isn't dude taking pictures? He hasn't taken a single picture the whole time he's been down here. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Alright, so missing a lot. Let's raft. see what else we can find. Oh, now you finally take a picture. Okay. Alright. Good God. I'm thinking about these games, it's kind of confusing on which direction you're supposed to go because they flip around and stuff. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. <laughs> Let's 
be built. Okay, so you wouldn't be able to get in necessarily with That's was, that was supposed to be a jump scare? Come on now. That was nothing. Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Why would I need to use the dot of my knife on the dot? Yep. Get out of here now. Oh, oh, grab it. Grab it. <gasps> Bang stick, mother. Shark? Come on. Now there's a shark? Yeah, come at me, shark. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I thought this was the right time, but then. I didn't know if it was the right time, but I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't... I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell, because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? Uh. I'm gonna say nothing. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, I, I just... Oh, it's, it's bad timing, I, I know. Well, it's terrible timing. I, I'm sorry, it, this is so no, stupid, no, I'm sorry. No, please, don't, don't apologize. Yep, I, I just Dumbass. need to think about this, like, you know, like when I'm not about to die at the bottom of the ocean? Dumbass. Insecure, generous, witty, and selfish. How she's, I don't understand how she's selfish. Like... Oh yeah, it's going down. That's fine. Cliff, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. To the bearing. Proposal. But it didn't... Okay, yeah. Yep, okay, I'm not getting go, the bends. Go. We're good. I knew it was all good, though. Honestly. Like, not gonna lie. I knew that part. Um, Alright, so we're still good. We're still hey, good. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's alright now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. Well, it's not our fault. It's that other boat's fault. There's nothing you can do about that.
You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. <sighs> if only she felt the same. Alright, that's not what necessarily about true. Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Arrogant, for sure. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms. So far, at least. Well. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions. Special feature unlocked. You're doing well. Hey, I'm doing well. That's always good. So we're at the first cut. Um, at the first cut scene, doing pretty good, I'd say. Or the first repository. How well preserved was the plane? Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. Ah. Hey, when was enough? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, right. I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, right. we found a so. bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. All right. Can I ask you why you said no? I just thought it was the right thing to do. I don't she didn't say that. no. I thought everything was going so well. Mm. Maybe that's my fault. Maybe I haven't been as honest as I should have been with oh, you. Oh wow. About how I've been feeling. What's wrong with us? I know this can't be easy for you, but I just think maybe we should be honest with each other. I've always been honest with you. What aren't you saying? Yep. Alex, I wanted to say yes. I did, but be it's nice. just not that simple. The fuck? Let's talk about it when we get home. Uh. Just please, not now. Fine. We'll talk. Home. I'll go find Brad and everybody. Still generous, selfish. How is she generous and selfish at the same time? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. And you know Conrad's pissed about that. Nothing? Alright. That's funny. Super funny. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. So now I gotta walk. Alex, holy crap. Were you guys like in the plane when it broke? Oh. Got out in the nick of time. Skin of our teeth. Well, our skin was almost in a shark teeth. What? Uh, yeah, didn't I tell you there are sharks around here? Uh, no. Most of them aren't dangerous. Oh, yeah, the, the friendly sharks. The badge of the copag from the B-29. Let me just say this 
once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Eh, well, I might want to leave photos. So, we're going again tomorrow? You got the map pad, Dive Master J? Oh, no, not yet. I'm trying to. Oh, wow, it's not gonna let me go, though. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find you. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Wow, it won't let you do anything without. Got it. Let's go up. Wait. Super. Can we talk about what just happened? Later, oh Alex. my god, this dude. Right here. Like, let it. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. Alright, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Uh, Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled yep. with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone yep. down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? All right, so... So it's good. Keeping it about you. Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This we'll story see. is true. It had happened right near here. In an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper respite, could hear waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, Splayed out on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. 
You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so... who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, yep. says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Yeah, marriage is a bitch, huh? So the lighthouse keeper creeps oh, wow. over to the closet, opens the door. But hurt much? And, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. That's lame. It's not scary. Don't quit your day job. He jumped. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. So Brad, I'm guessing. Okay, cool. She's uh, going for Brad no, no, now. No, because no, according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Alright, so let's see what happens next. We got a repository scene. If it's a repository scene, nope. Generally, as far as I know, somebody would be staying awake into the boat. Especially if there's bad weather. Yep. Probably stop right about this spot. Mm. Time we're gonna stop right here. I already did that little part, but I think we'll come back to this uh, tomorrow sometime. Uh, everybody have a good night. Thank you for watching.